Hey, it's my 15 week update. I'm actually um, 15 weeks and one day today, um, which means, you know, I'm now really into my second trimester here for a little bit and I thought I would start to feel a little bit better and I think it's just gonna hopefully slowly happen over the next month. Um, but this last week was the worst week I've had yet. So the first week of my second trimester, I was throwing up so, so much, so much more than normal, um, <clears throat> and so much quantity too, it was just unbelievable. And then on top of it, I got sick, so my throat is killing me, my nose, cough, wheezing, can't really breathe that well. So it's just, when you're sick like that and your throat's hurting and your nose is clogged and throwing up at the same time from, you know, a different cause, it's just like, oh my gosh. So I am, I just feel like death warmed over. I have not cooked now since I've been five or six weeks pregnant. We eat out pretty much every meal. The only thing I cook is like bagels in the toaster or something, um, soup, things like that. But for like dinners, we've been going out for almost every single dinner. Um, unless, like, my mom's here and she cooks something. But that's getting expensive and ridiculous. But I know it'll pass. This happened with my first pregnancy, too. It's just starting to get depressing at this point just to be so sick for so long. But I know that I'll feel better soon, and I just got to keep thinking about that. But I wanted to tell you guys more about, like, the highlight of my week, which was um, finding out the gender of the baby. I just cannot believe it. Um... For the first, I would say, 11 weeks, <coughs> I definitely thought it was a girl. I was like 100% convinced it was a girl. And then, like the last three weeks, slowly, I started thinking, I feel too much like I did last time. Like, it's just too similar. I think it's a boy. It feels just the same. Um, and sure enough, it's a boy. Um, <clears throat> the ultrasound pictures, you know, when they snap them, it's just a second in time. But when you're sitting there watching it live, I felt like I could definitely tell it was a boy. Um, but she has 33 years experience. She's been doing this a really long time. So it was just crazy. Here's, it's, it's just hard to tell on another person's ultrasound. But baby's foot is there, like the white dot. And then the other leg is going over this way. And then there's his penis. Um, <clears throat> but when she's sitting there and pointing things out on the screen to you and you're seeing it live and not just one millisecond of a snapshot, I felt like definitely it was a boy. And I did not feel like that in our first ultrasound. But they also didn't spend that much time on that area. She was like, oh, yep, it's a girl. And then my husband's like, are you sure? Because it was really fast. And she went back and she went over that area and she went really slow. She's like, yeah, it's definitely a girl. And I was looking at it. I'm like, yeah, that's definitely a girl. Um, so it's, it turns out it was a boy. But this time, it, he was not hiding, I felt. Um, the lady had turned the ultrasound on for literally three seconds. And she's like, it's a boy. It was like, when she happened to turn it on, it happened to be the perfect shot. So she's like, I didn't know if we were going to get another good shot. So I normally don't tell people so fast, but it was just too perfect. So I had to tell you right then. So it was like, bam, it's on. It's a boy. We're like, whoa, that was like kind of anticlimactic. Um, ugh. So not feeling well, not feeling well at all. <clears throat> um, we had a hard enough coming, time coming up with a name for Austin. Like we have girl names, because girl names seem to be so much easier for us. Um, so, I don't know what we're going to do. We have like a short list. As we like something, I've been writing it down. So far we have Carson, Nolan, Sawyer, Shaw, Dawson, and Jack. Um, but if it's a name he really likes, it's down there. Or if it's a name I really like, it's down there. But we don't agree on any of those names. <laughs> but there are names that we're like, oh, it's really in my top names. If he says that, I'll write it down. Or if I say that, I'll write it down. Um... What else? Oh, so we told family and friends and everyone, and they were like, we knew. We felt like it was just a boy. Like, everyone just felt like it was a boy. So it's so funny. Um, we're starting to talk to our 15-month-old about, like, a baby, and we have some books that talk about a baby coming. I, I still don't think he has any clue or understands. He's just a little too young to get it. Um, but it'll, it'll be here before we know it, so we will see. But... 
what else is going on this week yeah but this week i mean we pretty much stayed home i pretty much felt sick and terrible i'm still breaking out like crazy all over my chest and all over my back which is very abnormal for me but i don't know i really want to get a massage a pregnancy massage now that i'm in my second trimester but i feel weird about it with this my back and chest it's just so nasty i hate it but what can you do not much um okay other than that i guess i will see, i will um these jeans kind of make my bump look funny but i'll try to insert a picture anyway and get you my weight um not much else has been going on this week um about to finish my finals here shortly so we will hopefully have a little more time i won't be as stressed tired exhausted sick so i'm thinking the next three or four weeks are going to be really really good um I should start to slowly feel better here. I'm hoping this was, you know how sometimes things have to get worse before they get better? I'm kind of hoping that was what this past week was. Um, anyway, I will see you guys at my 16 week. Wow, that's the first time it's felt crazy, like 16 week update. Okay, talk to you guys later, bye. Sixty-two point nine.